Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're in a random today. I don't know why I hate myself. I was probably due for an Isaac run, but instead we're gonna have a blue baby run. You know what? We've had a pretty good run of form lately. It seems we, we have ups and downs in Isaac. I mean, that's fairly par for the course, I would say. Um, much like Tiger Woods' sexual conquest. That joke was lazy and doesn't even really make any sense. If you laughed at that, you should be ashamed. I'm not ashamed for making it. That was just a test to see if you had the worst sense of humor of all time. And if you did, well, then you can come to my birthday party because those are the people I like to surround myself with on a regular basis. In any case, um, yeah, we've been, we've been having a good run of form lately. We've had uh, a lot of victories, a couple defeats. That was really bad damage to take right off the bat, but holy crap. If we can get a bomb, uh, not only do I get to pick up the Polaroid, probably the best trinket in the game when you're playing as Blue Baby. I mean, I guess objectively kind of the best trinket in the game to begin with if you actually want to have a chance to beat it. It's the only trinket that gives you that chance. Um, but also gives us permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is super awesome. It's not the best uh, trinket for most characters all the time, but it's the best character for Blue Baby all the time, I would say. And I really need it because I've already lost one whole spirit heart on the uh, very first floor. In my defense, I kind of feel like one of those wasn't really my fault. Uh, getting hit by the bomb wasn't really my fault. I probably could have avoided, avoided it, but still. Um, not only do we get the benefit of getting permanent Polaroid invincibility, though, this is where I was gonna go with that commentary earlier, but I get to leave Blue Baby's soul behind. Haha, <laughs> suck on that. There can be only one Blue Baby by the end of this run, either myself or the final boss. So I'm very tempted to use a bomb to kill Pin here because I'm not doing very much damage, but I'm not going to, and the reason behind that is that obviously uh, being able to use Bombs for Tinted Rocks is obviously a little bit more important for me. Bombs for Tinted Rocks, also my favorite Atari's album. We're going to be here for quite some time. It's also the version of Pin that, quite unfortunately, uh, does not actually shoot bombs that it can hurt itself with. So instead, we're just going to have to do literally 100% of the damage with our own bullets. Uh, that's going to be tedious, but at least we are about 80% of the way through it right now. Now, what do we want here? I talk a little bit, uh, probably a little bit ad nauseum, if that even makes any sense at all. Uh, about the way that items are diff or valued differently depending on what character you're playing as. I even talked about it with the whole Polaroid and uh, Trinket thing. Uh, so yeah, what we really did not want was an HP upgrade, because HP upgrades are not superbly important as Blue Baby until they are. Again, that might not make that much sense, but hopefully you understand what I mean by that. HP upgrades as Blue Baby are worth way, way less than an item pedestal. Let's put it that way. It's like having a gift where the wrapping paper is the focus as opposed to the actual content of the the gift inside you know um, so I'm very happy to have gotten the coat hanger I don't know why it seems like the coat hanger showing up all the time lately and it's an item that has recently kind of come into favor for me at least hey we got a spirit heart right there see that's like an HP upgrade basically uh, and we get meat at least meat is not just a vanilla HP upgrade if we're gonna have to give it HP upgrades at least they come in that form and as much as I would love to pick up brimstone here I'm not going to and the reason behind that is largely self-survival. I would love to admit, like, oh, or I'd love to lie, basically, and say, like, I'm gonna avoid taking Brimstone because I have the utmost respect for the entertainment wishes of my viewership. And to a certain extent, that's true. But mostly, the big reason is that if I took it, I probably uh, would be in a much better offensive position, but I would also almost certainly die um, on the next floor or a floor soon after. Like, one champion could kill me. So that's not something I really want to get involved with. I'm super psyched to have gotten a second key here. Uh, shoot the Whoop is technically better than the Poop, yes. Uh, shoot the Poop is something that we've uh, basically used as a strategy, but oh well. We're gonna just roll with something else instead. Shoot the Whoop is fine. I think it's a once every four room item, which is... Eh, yeah, we can use it for bosses, I guess, and then l as we move a little bit further into the game, we can use it to take out some more difficult rooms, but obviously this is a, a space bar item that we'll be looking to replace with something a little bit more effective as we get a little further along. But, you know, all things considered, leaving the first floor, even if it is an XL floor, as Blue Baby, with a little bit of extra HP and uh, improved rate of fire, is a pretty good turn of events. Just surviving the early game as Blue Baby is awesome. And plus we have the Polaroid, which I, I, I shouldn't write that off as just, like, just another trinket. It's actually uh, extremely valuable for us to have the Polaroid. Uh, what is this? That is Two of Hearts. It's worthless. I don't think Two of Hearts card ever works for us uh, as Blue Baby. Full health might take you back to three spirit hearts, but I think it doesn't. I don't know. Why do I think that it... Or why do like I have that in my brain that that actually does work like that? It's a valid question. So I used, um... Yeah, we'll use a bomb to try this out. Could find the secret room as well. Didn't, but bomb for key is an okay trade. Uh, I used the uh, shoop the whoop not just to do damage, but also to kind of be like... 
you know, to, to gain some knowledge to... Uh, I don't want to... Even though we could go into the curse room and lose only half a spirit heart, I don't want to. We're going to go into our uh, item room instead, and we got Mr. Boom. I don't know what... You, I guess what I'm going to try with Mr. Boom is... There's a lot of possible locations for a secret room, and remember that on the first floor, it's... Uh, the pattern's always different. So I just thought we'd throw Mr. Boom down and see if it worked. You know what? Maybe we'll take Mr. Boom with us. Uh, Mr. Boom is a once every two rooms item. So we can use that as a bomb. We don't have any bombs. It's probably nearly as good offensively as Shoop the Whoop. Plus, we can also use it for other bomb-related purposes. I, I totally forgot where I was actually going with this whole tangent, but that's okay. Uh, I thought I was making a good point a second ago, but it looks like we're actually going to be leaving this floor with roughly the same amount of HP as we started with as Blue Baby, but that's totally fine. We need some things. Um, we, we definitely, you know, would benefit from a way to generate our own spirit hearts, preferably passively if possible. Uh, we would definitely benefit from more money, that's true, uh, and any variety of shop items, map, compass, anything that makes Mr. Boom charge more, or, you know, our spacebar item charge more, because our item rooms are pretty terrible on this floor, they didn't give us any passives, they exclusively gave us actives, but at least they were upgrades, sort of, not the best actives in the game, but not terrible, our item room on this floor contains Monster Manuel, speaking of terrible, uh, active upgrades, um, Monster Manuel, you know, the, the longer time goes on, the more I think back to that, uh, like, top 10 worst items in Isaac video that I did. And I think that maybe, I know I, I put it on the list, but I still might have overvalued Monster Manuel in a weird way. I, I think it may actually be a candidate for one of the worst items in the game. Like, one of the, like, top one or two worst items in the game, that is. Uh, we could use the Mr. Boom to get money, I suppose, but, um, we'll probably use it instead. It's tempting to use it here. Um, we are not quite going to get enough money to go to the shop unless the poop ends up uh, working out for us. But it's tempting to use it here to get the Tinted Rock, but I, I almost want to save it for the boss just so I can take out the boss a little bit more quickly. And um, I don't think that's a terrible idea. So I'm, I'm going to use... Uh, you know what? Why don't we just use Mr. Boom on the boss right away? Ooh, this is going to be a tricky boss to bomb. Uh, yeah, that didn't work out very well. All right, so this is going to be uh, a difficult fight. No question about it. And... Uh, I don't expect to get a deal with the devil here because we've already turned one down, but we could get a deal with the angel. Remember, I, I came up with a, a strategy for dealing with Gertie Jr. a couple videos ago, and I think it works. You just... Oh, it was close. You stand, like, exactly on a line with it. Basically, like, parallel. Uh, or not even parallel. In line with Gertie Jr. And then when Gertie Jr. comes off the wall, it doesn't do any unpredictable bouncing. Instead, it just bounces, like, in a straight line which makes it much, much easier to dodge. That worked out really well. I'm not psyched about the HP upgrade there, but we do get a deal with the Angel, and it's Guardian Angel, and that's acceptable. Not amazing, but acceptable. The reason I didn't do the, uh, the, um, Mr. Boom on the Tinted Rock here is because I figured, or sorry, the reason I didn't use Bomb on a Tinted Rock here is because I figured, you know, in two rooms, we're gonna get, oh, that was stupid. In two rooms, we're gonna get Mr. Boom anyway, so I might as well just, uh, See if maybe we can get it there, if that makes sense, or get it then. I could use Mr. Boom here to get some money as well, which is probably, you know, it might end up being something I do. Uh, either using a bomb or using Mr. Boom to get a little bit of extra cash, and the reason for that would be, obviously, to make the shop theoretically worthwhile, as long as there's not a mini boss in it. If there is, we'll get some money out of it as well, though. Alright, so that is a live bomb, which we don't want anything to do with. Let's blow up this Tinted Rock. Really would love to see... The small rock in here. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, one spirit heart is still worth it, I suppose. We uh, didn't really have to pay much for that, except for beating a couple of rooms, so that's okay. And the other reason I, I kind of enjoy using Mr. Boom is that it does allow us, like, Mr. Boom is not a permanent solution for us in the spacebar item slot. Hopefully. If he is, then whatever. I mean, we'll, we'll try to make it work. But it also, um, it allows me to replenish bombs. It's also weirdly like a bomb bag type deal going on um, because the bombs that I generate now I won't be using so in a weird way it's almost like getting a, a bonus with respect to bombs as well so we get another key that's fantastic uh, another nickel well not another nickel just our, our first nickel uh, and that's amazing because obviously I was hoping to go to the shop and now we won't need to use Mr. Boone to make it happen and inside we find blue candles so uh, yes obviously we'll end up picking this up and I'm also gonna buy this spirit heart I may actually just buy that spirit heart and then use it for 
the purposes of uh, going into that curse room. I doubt it'll be good, but it might be good. We've also found our secret room. I figured we might as well use Mr. Boom before we left. Fuck the slot machine. I, I could have played it once, but it's not worth it. Let's lose one spirit heart to check this out, just in case. Okay, we paid three cents for two of the same pill. Oh no, not the same pill. One of the pills is a speed upgrade. The other one was a range downgrade. Those are, in some ways, two sides of the same coin. They're two different sides of the same coin. But obviously, yes, <clears throat> we'll end up buying blue candle. And that'll be it for us on this floor. That is the, it, the third floor, but the fifth space bar item we've had, which is kind of crazy. But blue candle is obviously a huge upgrade for us. We need it. And uh, we'll move onwards, and I'm going to take a sip of my coffee, as now I have a little bit of renewed hope about this run. Far too hot. I, I'll admit, I actually just faked that sip. I said I didn't want to be branded as a liar, so I, I faked that sip of that coffee, I'll admit. That spirit heart drop is very, very lucky. Uh, because we have a precedent for deals with the angel, I feel better about this run than it might look on paper right now. And the reason is, uh, you know, Relic and Mitre are both fairly... Oh, yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Uh, fairly common uh, deal with the angel drop. So even though I'm not playing fantastically, if we get one of those, that goes a long way towards helping us out. Uh, that is, all of our item rooms, all four of them so far, and our shop have all contained, the shop that we've been to, I should say, to clarify, uh, have all been active items. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. You know, passive items are the, the lifeblood of your average run. So we're in a little bit of a, a dubious position, but I still do think that we can make this happen. Uh, definitely want to play Judgment if I get the opportunity, but with one cent, I, I would basically just be throwing one cent away right now, so that's not really, uh, something that I'm super interested about, or in. I uh, that was probably the worst blue candle shot I've ever done. We can just stand over here, though, and take these guys out from afar, though. This one will land... Oh, no, he got caught in the door, and I almost walked on the spikes like an idiot. Okay. Uh, definitely want to play that Judgment. Maybe don't want to go to the secret room? I haven't decided. Or sorry, maybe don't want to go to the curse room is what I mean. Definitely want to go to the secret room if we have enough bombs, and it's looking like we probably will. Uh, we're on caves. It shouldn't be an enormous floor. There's already at least three different possible, or like likely secret room locations. Devil card is good. That's just, that's a late game item masquerading as a tarot card. So we'll hold on to that for as long as we can. And Anarchist Cookbook. Well, on the bright side, we are knocking out some of the worst uh, the worst of the, uh, active items from our pool here. I will use one send to play this, even though we do want to play Judgment. Just wanted to see. Umbilical Cord is not really what I was looking for out of that, as you might expect. Now, uh, I- Oh, that was stupid. I didn't realize there was a rock there. But it wasn't a rock. It, no, it was- it was actually a rock. Fred something from the B-52s. I've forgotten your actual name. Um, I will use a bomb and a key here to, uh, to open this golden chest just in case. It was Steven, so that was, uh, it, it's not an impossible, well, it, obviously it's not impossible. It's not a super unlikely golden chest drop, I think. It has happened before, but it's certainly not as likely as something like Tammy's head, so I, I'm psyched to have gotten a base damage increase there. Seems like we might, uh, be getting a little bit stronger relative to the game, and that would be amazing. Let's check out our boss and see who we're dealing with here. Just peep, very, very standard, uh... Caves boss here. Ooh, that shot wasn't very good. I should have held off on that. Guardian Angel protected me there, though. So, what's the most important thing from this fight? Uh, ideally, we end up getting a deal with the Angel. And if we do end up getting a deal with... Oh, we got a deal with the Devil? That's unexpected. Okay, now ideally we end up getting Krampus. Let's see. That is not Krampus. Those are guppy items. Uh, and I can't re-roll them. Are any of these worth three Spirit Hearts? Absolutely not. Although, wait. Let me... <laughs> Because of permanent Polaroid invincibility, I actually can steal deal with the devil items as Blue Baby, but I do not want to because I, I, I can steal one, but I do not want to because I'll still end up having to deal with the, the issue of having nine lives. So I, I don't think we want to do that. As If there were any other two items in there, I probably would have done it because that's three spirit hearts for two deal with the devil items. Even if one of them was just a guppy item, I still think it's worth it. But yeah, that was, uh, it was tricky. At least I remembered that I could, uh, oh, come on, seriously? At least I remembered that I could get permanent Polaroid invincibility and steal the items. Oh, fantastic. Uh, but I don't think that was the proper situation to make it happen. So it looks like we'll be leaving this floor without too much value having been accrued, except for Steven, but, uh, I had to work for that. 
and it doesn't look like we'll be able to play that judgment either the devil card also could end up being a major player as we get into the the really late game but kind of disappointing so far you know we we've succeeded up to this point in spite of the items that the game has given us to some extent uh, like we haven't gotten any gifts I had to get the money to go to the shop the game dropped the keys which is nice of them I suppose um, and that blue candles our biggest upgrade so far apart from that uh, boss room devil room and uh, item rooms have not been particularly useful for us but we're still trucking along here I'm gonna sacrifice another spirit heart to, to try this out because we just because we've gotten a lot one of these is a range downgrade and the other one balls of steel and ate them. Okay, not very good for us. One of these days, there's gonna be a mom's knife in there, and we're gonna win, and it's gonna be amazing, and you'll all say, Northern Lion, Northern Lion, you were right, come back to me, and I'll say, no, Dad, you walked away when I was eight, and that's it. Uh, I guess we'll play this one more time. At this point, maybe we should've just given three cents to Judgment. He could've paid out, probably like a 10% chance, uh, and maybe like a 15% chance, not that that matters that much in the whole scheme of things. Down to the next floor. That was a perfect coffee cooldown timer there. No, it wasn't. It's still too hot. I didn't fake that one. It still tastes delicious. It's just a little bit, a uh, little bit, you know, too much energy in there for the uh, for the old uh, mouth to take. All right. Yeah. Eventually, these fuckers will find you. Even if you think you're in the greatest hiding spot of all time, the mass of infamy don't give a shit. They will hunt you down like Jude Law in that movie. Repo was that Jude Law? I can't remember. Repo Man, that was it. Wow, what a shitty movie. Okay. Now. Just land some good ones in here. That went pretty well. Got burned by the fire, much like my own mouth got burned by that coffee a little bit earlier. Not to make everything about me, but seriously, that was a little bit painful. I'm not thrilled about the fact that it happened, but what's done is done, I suppose. Maybe the second secret room is here, and we'll get that in addition to the two bombs. Nope, but we did get two bombs for the price of one, which is good. And our item room. Polyphemus, okay, so this is where I have to, by law, stop complaining about the run because we've received Polyphemus. Polyphemus and Blue Candle, ooh, is enough to win a run. The only thing that gets in our way now, and you know, again, I'm not talking as if this is a one run because this is a major problem. Uh, the only thing that can get in our way now is having a staggeringly low amount of health, which we do, and no way to replenish it. So we have to be very, very cautious, very, very cautious. Uh, about the way things are going on this run, or about the way things could go on this run. I, offensively, I'm in a wonderful position. Don't get me wrong. Defensively, a little bit of poor play over the course of a couple rooms can add up to something truly catastrophic. So, uh, I really, really, really need to play smart. So, I'm telling you that, and I'm telling myself that, just to remind me, hey, like, play it cool. The most important thing is not finishing rooms quickly or as quickly as possible. The most important thing is not taking damage. And if I can avoid taking damage, maybe get another deal with the Angel, pick up uh, Miter and Relic, then Miter or Relic, I should say. Miter and Relic would be amazing, but if I could pick up Miter or Relic, uh, yeah, that's basically it, I guess. Then that would be incredible. There's also, I guess, some impetus for me to get rid of... Uh, blue candle if the nail shows up but I don't know we'll, we'll have to talk about that if it actually ends up happening which let's be honest it probably won't but if it does we'll, we'll see and more deals with the devil items that I could actually you know get justified or feel justified in stealing would be wonderful as well but I don't necessarily uh, believe that that's likely to happen either especially since this is in all likelihood our second last chance for a deal with the devil or angel it's a pill we've never seen before it's a uh, tears downgrade that sucks pretty hard we have had a couple tears upgrades in this run so it's not like we're in the worst position ever but uh, that is not great I would prefer if we did not get that let's get this penny I've had a really bad track record walking over spikes lately but that's okay stars card takes us to the item room which means it could save us a key all things considered, but the uh, the Devil card is way, way smarter uh, of a late game uh, item to take with us. There's our secret room, which was found completely by accident, thankfully. We're firing so slowly now as a result of uh, that Tears Downgrade pill. Maybe it actually is a little bit more devastating than I originally thought it would be. So we're up to eight. Well, we'll be at nine cents before we leave here. The fire doesn't put out fire right now, it doesn't. Okay. Um... I mean, I don't want to waste a key trying to go to the shop if we're not going to be able to get to it. But we'll see, I guess, as we finish this floor, if there's any extra money available uh, around that might be able to help me out. A single nickel would do it. Probably not. Oh, they're definitely not going to be an arcade. Not that we would want to gamble anyway. We will check out the chest. 
This is always a little bit of a tricky room. Uh, we got three cents out of that, so we only need three more cents to make this work. And this is... It's got to be our boss room down here. One way or the other, right? Like, it might not be the next room. Well, it's definitely not the next room, but it's got to be close. I think, at least. That's, that's my philosophy on the matter. And we could really use a good uh, boss room drop and maybe a deal with the angel afterwards. I should have checked the other side because the secret room, second secret room could have been there. Uh, our golden chest here contains more bombs and a little bit more money. Not a terrible trade, not a great trade either though. And we got the Fallen, so this is actually uh, maybe the best boss fight that we could hope for. Fallen is probably, uh, you know, Fallen isn't even that tricky relative to the other bosses we could be fighting on this floor. He's actually pretty easy, especially when our damage is incredible. Um, so we're gonna get a free deal with the devil item and then possibly a deal with the devil or deal with the angel pedestal afterwards. No, we got uh, bloody lust. Bloody lust, I don't know how to feel about, but I took it because it was on the ground and it was free. I really can't believe that we didn't get uh, a deal with the devil or angel there. I mean, I thought that I performed pretty admirably on that boss fight, but I guess not. Polyphemus should make it so that, oh, and Steven should make it so that our Base damage isn't too adversely affected by uh, picking up Bloody Lust, even if that does affect our damage, which I still don't know. It obviously affects our damage the more things we kill, which is always nice, but um, yeah, whatever. We got it. It's not like we can re-roll it, so that's fine. We got one more penny. Are you actually going to put me through this? There's got to be one way for us to get one more penny over the course of this entire floor, right? Like, I'm. there's got to be like a, a poop that I could shoot or a... A slot machine I could blow up. Please tell me there's not just like a one cent off compass in here. There's a one cent off Book of Revelations, so that's actually fine. I'm gonna just buy a key and a spirit heart. And we're gonna tell the Book of Revelations to fuck itself, because uh, Blue Candle's way better. Sure, it would have been nice to get a spirit heart, but 15 cents for one spirit heart is a terrible deal. Uh, when I could just pay five cents for a spirit heart. In fact, the only way that could have been better is if I got the money, picked up Book of Revelations, used it, and then I would get a first level cube of meat. Is first level cube of meat better than Rage? I don't think so, but it would have been okay considering we also have Guardian Angel. Would have given me some nice protection against those late game bosses who are truly uh, heinous, and we'll move on. No question we should be able to beat Mom quite easily here, but uh, without the compass map, uh, without very much HP, the question becomes uh, how likely are we to make it much further than that, and that's actually a question that I don't really know how to answer right now. I, you know, the more stupid damage I take, the, the harder it's going to be to get there. Oh, good, though. We did get Sack of Pennies just in time to not get paid out to 15 cents before we uh, get to this last shop. We're going to shoot all the poop just because, you know, this last shop could give us the compass or something. But, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tricky. It's, it's going to be very, very tricky, I think. I kind of, even though we've got Blue Candle and Polyphemus, I kind of don't see us winning this run right now. But a couple of good items could turn that around for us. And that's not, I'm not saying it's an unwinnable run, I'm not saying the game has fucked me with item choices, even though a lot of uh, item rooms ended up being shitty active items. Uh, but what I am saying is that with my skill level, I don't know if this one's going to be uh, too likely to do if we don't get anything else. But it could be, it could be possible still. Oh, that was really bad damage, but at least we got a Spirit Heart and a Nickelback, actually. That's uh, not just the best band in the world, but also a pretty important upgrade, because it does give us a more reasonable chance of being able to buy something from the shop on this floor. Although, let's be honest, we're probably due for uh, a Greed fight, aren't we? Okay, we're going to get a free Shot Speed upgrade plus HP. Uh, it's not really plus HP. I, I hesitate to say plus HP is what I'm trying to get at, because it's, it's really just plus a Spirit Heart, but a Spirit Heart is HP, but it sort of isn't as well. It's not really equivalent to HP, at least not yet. Uh, boss Trap Rooms are one of the big benefits to playing as Blue Baby, but unfortunately, you know... Oh, that was close. Uh, unfortunately, you know, when we've only gotten one of them over the course of the entire run, it's not really that much of a predictive factor in our success anymore. So we had the Empress card. The Empress card is good. Is it better than the Devil? I don't know. I, you know, I hate to do this. We will trade one of our bombs for one penny here. Just so I don't have to backtrack, I already have a decent supply of bombs. I'm doing this so that um, it's more likely for me to be able to go to the shop later. We'll also check around for the secret room. This could be a location. It's not. Almost a little bit vindicating there because if it was, I could have used two bombs instead of a key to get into the item room, which obviously would have been way, way better for me. Now, I do have the range necessary to attack these guys. Seriously, like an all stats upgrade? I hate to be like the pickiest dude in the world, but if I could just get an all stats upgrade, I would be super psyched because 
uh, that would solve a lot of our problems, or go a long way towards solving a lot of our problems uh, at once. Uh, no. I'm sorry. We're not gonna do that. Can I bomb my way into the secret room through the shop? I really wish that that had just told us yes. Because <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know if the secret room is there, but I just can't get to it from the shop, or if the secret room isn't there, so I'm probably gonna waste more bombs checking for it. So yes, we ended up fighting Greed, um, he died, and we got some items, well, we got a golden chest out of it, as well as a little bit of money. It's not amazing. That, I guess, isn't the secret room either, unless I just placed the worst bomb of all time. We'll see, anyway. Um, the, the floor hasn't been amazing for us so far, but it's given us some items. We have 26 cents, that's a high time for a money equals power, if possible. The magician card is pretty terrible, we're just gonna use it right now to get it out of our face and uh, continue exploring. And at this point, if we come across the uh, boss room, I may just be obliged to kind of go f uh, go through with it. Maybe, ah, uh, maybe not. There's probably only a couple rooms left here. I don't know, we really, like at this point, Squeezy would be an awesome drop from this boss. That would actually make me feel really good about things. Well, really better about things, but uh, additionally, like I'm hinging a lot of my hopes. Doesn't that sound like a country song? Hinging my hopes. Hinging my hopes on a bottle of red stripe. I don't know why the red stripe. That's not really a country western beer, is it? But anyway, uh, hinging my hopes on um, a deal with the devil slash deal with the angel possibility at the end of the womb part one, which I think could happen. That, that, now that's more like a used record. The end of the womb part one. It's about growing up, obviously. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, this is actually a, a very important room. I'm glad I explored everything. This will uh, give me not only the, the almost certainty to get a payout from Judgment and possibly some consumables along the way. Eh, we got a spirit heart, but also the tinted rock. So we could end up getting three spirit hearts here or a small rock or a golden chest that can go fuck itself because I need keys for the late game. Yes, I could open those golden chests now and maybe I'd get four keys anyway and still be able to go to the chest, but I don't think it's a smart idea. I may be wrong, you may be crazy, but anyway, let's uh, let's go fight Mom here. Mom with Blue Candle is uh, basically your ideal kind of fight, especially if you have Polyphemus to back it up on the other side, uh, because we can do damage without Mom even being really, I mean, she's aggroed, but she's not super aggroed. That was really bad damage for me to take there, but that's okay, and there we go. Finish it off, and we did get Squeezy. I mean, at this point, it almost seems like I know what's going to happen before it happens, but that uh, solves our tier problem and gives us a lot of HP. That's probably better than meat as uh, as Blue Baby. I think, at least. This, uh, I should really, like, or I, not I, because I would just not know what the actual, like, mathematics behind it were, but someone should do, like, a, an article which is basically, like, items that are way better as Blue Baby than they are for other characters. Squeezy would be up there, I think. I think Squeezy's pretty good to begin with. I, I didn't used to think that. I used to reroll it, but, um... Yeah, I think Squeezy is pretty excellent, but as Blue Baby in particular, it gets uh, really, really good. I just tried to walk him away from the spike so the spike wouldn't be on the chest. Now the key has ended up on the chest, but I think it moved just enough for me to get it. Excellent. Uh, obviously not going to open that, because it might pay out with just money or something, which is basically worthless for us at this point in the game, unless we come across more judgments, but even if we do, we have more than enough money to get them to pay out. So this is a big floor for us. If we don't get anything on this floor, I would say we're probably pretty unlikely to beat Isaac. And I say that because, um, <clears throat> we don't get any more items basically after this, unless we find them randomly on the floor or they show up in golden chests, which at this point now actually we probably could open. But we really need some serious, uh, damage basically. At this point we can't, from this boss we're not going to get a ton of health unless we get Miter or Relic and then the health will come over time, which is fine. Um, but yeah, let's see, basically, is what I'm trying to get at here. If we get Sacred Heart, that would be amazing too. Like, don't don't feel that you just need to give me a defensive item because I'm asking for a game. You could totally give me, like, the best offensive item in the game instead. I really hate Triacnid, the, the somewhat unpredictable nature of those attacks. Um, so we got our Spirit Heart back, and then we could steal some Deal with the Devil items. I mean, there's really no point in stealing the, uh, the Book of Sin except to use it once, but that that's a little risky just to be clever. But I think we do pick up the Pact. It basically costs us one Spirit Heart because we get two back for it. Uh, and, you know, well, fine, okay? We'll do it. And there we- Hey, we got a Spirit Heart back out of it. So we got the Pact for free, basically. Uh, and that's gonna be some extra 
offensive capability, basically. That's good. Uh, is it enough to, to change my, my some seeming pessimism about this, like, next couple of floors? It could be. Uh, it's good. It's really good. Whether or not um, it, it's going to be enough remains to be seen, but we'll we'll see. It's possible. Certainly, it's better than getting nothing, and Book of Sin actually paid out with, you know, the best thing that it could have for us, more or less. It, it could have given us a pill or a, a hero font card, and the pill, of course, could have been Balls of Steel, but really, within reason, it's the best thing that it could have paid out for us with. Uh, I was hoping we'd get an HP upgrade there, but whatever. So, a bunch of people have told me, and I, I wish I didn't have to bring this up, not because it's like, you know, bad or anything like that, but just because it's complicated. Uh, a bunch of people have told me that Liberty Cap as Blue Baby is broken and just occasionally gives you, like, random HP upgrades. I guess I'm gonna waste a key to check this out, largely for this exact reason here. One key, uh, for a Spirit Heart is an okay deal, and now Book of Shadows won't show up anymore either, but, um, a bunch of people have told me that, uh, Liberty Cap occasionally randomly gives Blue Baby HP upgrades. That's cool. I'm not gonna use it. I think the Polaroid is more valuable here, but if the Liberty Cab had dropped early in a run, as it did for me uh, somewhat recently, then we could have gotten a little bit more uh, value out of that. But good to know, I suppose. Thank God that wasn't the tick. We'll keep moving along. Uh, we can't justify opening up that golden chest, but if there was a golden chest in there, we probably could have. No need to open up that mob trap room. If it was a golden chest, might have considered it. Hard to say. It's, uh, I usually tackle those things on like a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Uh, as I tackle a lot of things in my life. As a linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, we're gonna finish... I mean, we got very lucky that on the wound part 1 and the wound part 2... Well, first off, we got very lucky, uh, that we got that key there. But we got very lucky that we found the boss rooms super duper quickly here. Which is awesome for everybody involved, except for the troll engine, who is obviously locked in a heated battle to try to beat me once and for all. We finally got our key, not that we needed it on this specific room. Uh, yeah, okay, I thought he would die. We're kind of a little low on bombs, which is shitty, but it should be okay, and we're kind of going for broke here. I really can't afford to take, uh, any damage at all, which is why I'm still being kind of religious or prodigious in my use of bombs here. And that'll do it right there. Okay, up to the cathedral. Since we actually, I think, gained health on that floor, I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident about the, our, our possibilities. Wow, there was a lucky secret room. If we end up getting, like, the Ankh in there, that could be really nice. Maybe? Is the Ankh what we want? I don't know if the Ankh or Raw Liver would be better for us. Probably Raw Liver. It looks like we're probably going to go for Broke on one run here, but, you know, if there's an item in there at all, that would be cool. Because uh, money at this point is not really worth very much for me. It's just a slot machine. We could play it and maybe get some Spirit Hearts, but it's unlikely and it's going to take a lot of time. So, no thank you, good sir. Uh, okay, probably should have taken damage at some point on this room. Haven't yet. Still could. Are you kidding me? Like, these things take two hits to the face before exploding, even though I have Polyphemus. Yes, we will have to use one of our bombs to open up this Tinted Rock. Ooh, it was worth it. And at least we didn't get hit. That was the most important thing. So our speed suffers a little bit. Everything else pretty good, though. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. That didn't work. Uh, I... Come get me, motherfuckers! You did this! You did this to yourselves. Okay, so we lost our spirit heart, but we still got the benefit of that, uh, small rock. And you know what? I actually feel like we've got a really good chance to beat Isaac now because we found the boss so quickly. So yes, pop the Emperor's card. Most important thing, get those shots in, do good work, uh, be, uh, treat others as you treat yourself, but also... Uh, make sure you're using that blue candle to block some shots on the way in. So we're going to be doing a ton of damage with our actual tiers. Keep in mind... Oh, the invincibility is going to make this a no-brainer. Keep in mind, though, for our um, our blue baby fight, we actually will not have the Empress card unless we get very lucky. Well, we could have any variety of cards, but um, the Empress and Devil being the most valuable, especially as blue baby. Uh, so, you know, we can't just take this as, like, a guarantee that we're going to survive and do well. But... We, uh, we did at least get through that, only taking two Spirit Hearts of damage. We get Mom's Bra, we get uh, the 20, we get the D6, and we get the Bomb Bag. So, this is a very interesting situation. And I'm, I'm trying to explain why in the easiest way possible. I want to pick up the D6 and reroll everything, but that will involve me rerolling Blue Candle. So we're going to execute something I've never done before. 
Uh, and I'm gonna call this the, the Northern Lion D6 uh, button hook maneuver because that sounds like really football or military-ish and uh, I think that's that's good because it makes it sound more serious. So what we're gonna try to do is actually like launder our blue candle away. So I'm gonna try to find another golden chest and with that golden chest we'll drop off blue candle and uh, then we'll go back and reroll three items with the D6 and maybe get some good stuff but we won't lose blue candle as a result. The other thing I could do is just reroll blue candle and hope that something better shows up, but it's a silly idea in my opinion because blue candle is a great uh, spacebar item. D6 is probably a better spacebar item. That was stupid of me. D6 is probably a better spacebar item, admittedly, but not in the late game. It loses its value usually uh, as the game progresses. So um, I think we'd be getting rid of a good item to pick up an item that is past its prime, but that doesn't mean it's without use for us right now. We just need like one reroll pedestal. And then uh, life's good, and we can at least get one reroll, maybe more. And or, well, it would technically be three rerolls, I guess. Please, okay, that's good. No, it's not. We'll pick up attack fly. Okay, I mean it's good because we got attack fly, but I thought it was an active item, so we could launder it. It does have to be an active item, otherwise I can't launder it. Okay, this is scary, and uh, it's scary because I have knockback on my shots, but it's also scary because um, I'm slow because I recently picked up a small rock. Probably gonna take at least two hits here. Oh, this is looking bad. I'm sorry for the disjointed commentary. Oh, there we go. Come on. This is a final gambit. Okay, we made it. Balls of steel, please. Balls of steel. Bombs are key. Oh, man, fine. Now we are faced with a very, very interesting decision because we're probably unlikely to get that reroll pedestal right here. I, I had to walk into that. I, I think I fucked myself into the corner. It's an expression you don't hear all that often in this day and age. Oh god, we're playing Snake! This is the most dangerous game of Snake ever. And we get a pill. That's not a good pill, though. Alright, let's be honest. If I fight... If I fight Blue Baby like this, do I have a chance? Yes. Uh, is it a good chance? No. No. Don't get hit by that. I almost walked into that. I I'm just running through, basically, like, numbers in my head right now. So I could go fight Blue Baby and risk it. I'm still going through it in my head. I think I will. I, 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 I realize this is less cool than my Northern Lion D6 button hook, but we didn't get a reroll pedestal, unfortunately. Now that I think about it, you know, we took a lot of damage getting to Blue Baby. I think our best chance actually is just rely on permanent Polaroid invincibil invincibility and, uh, and go for broke here. Now, uh, not taking early damage is going to be really important. The benefit of this, and remember, we don't have uh, we don't have the Empress card, so I'm not going to do as much damage, right? Yes, but uh, Blue Baby also summons an F ton of flies that I can build Rage off of and get to uh, at least the max benefit that Rage will give me pretty quickly. So we're not going to be doing the same damage that we did against Blue Baby, but I think we're going to be doing enough. Or sorry, that we're not going to be doing the same damage we did against Isaac, but I think we're going to be doing enough to at least make him bleed. Now uh, we are a little bit ahead of the curve in this fight so far, but. That can change very, very quickly. Please take out the angel fetuses as soon as possible. Okay, we killed the we killed Blue Baby, and I think we just won. Yeah, okay, that was a... Allow me to toot my own horn and say that was an inspired tactical move at the end. But that was a very close situation. We didn't get a lot of good stuff on that run, but we did get enough to succeed. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, show your support. Click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.